Hi, and welcome to a small tutorial on how to use accumulators to separate networks and combine networks, kind of. Um, what I have here is some power production, some accumulators that are in two networks, and some consumers in this network and this network, and also some solar panels I can add if I want to. So if I have is there fuel in this, uh, not enough. I have power production here so these accumulators will load but on the same time they can unload in a different uh, network. For example if I add some consumers here these accumulators will load and unload at the same time. So pr transferring power from this to this network. Uh, they can do so by uh, with the speed of the minimum of this maximum input and maximum output, which are the same for vanilla accumulators. In mods they can be differences. But one accumulator can transfer 300 kilowatts that's why I've got 9 here, because this can produce up to 1.8 megawatts, which is what this can transfer. One nice thing about this is if I have consumers in this network, they will take priority. So these consume all the power this produces. Once these accumulators are empty, that will happen right about now, there is no power transferred into this network and these get all the power. Uh, you can use it, for example, I had a map where I used in a modded game this network to pr produce wood to fuel the electricity, so this was always full on electricity the wood production for the power production, very important. So uh, only the excess power production would go to the rest of the base. Well, let's remove this and add some solar panels. Nice thing about this is cause these accumulators will never load these accumulators. The solar panels will. And let's remove the consumers here for a second. We could just in, uh, increase the count of solar panels, but I don't have any on me anymore. So the solar panels will load these accumulators. If you have a base and you don't want to use your steam power to load all your accumulators and only use your steam power as a backup, if you don't produce enough power at night. You can do this build because during the day the steam engines will only load quite a few accumulators. Three per steam engine here. And the solar panels will load this. These don't produce any power because they don't need and I could put a few thousand accumulators here and my steam power would only be used to load up a few. The rest will be loaded by solar panels because usually you have uh, a situation that during the day you produce enough power from the solar panels but, it's, but the steam engines will still work until the accumulators are full. And you usually don't want that. You only want your steam engines to run when you don't have enough power to produce your base. And a build like this, and I think I will build a bigger example, will prevent that. Ah, I don't need a big example. You see how it works. Uh, okay, night is coming. And now these will, oh, these are empty, uh, produce enough power to power these three. And 
when the day comes. And since these will be loaded, fully loaded all the time, it will be an instant switch, which is nice. But during the day, the solar panels will provide the power and load up accumulators with excess power. And if you don't produce enough power during the night or during peaks, these will jump in. Which is pretty nice. And you usually have to use some kind of circuit magic to do that. And we are running out of... Where the fuck is my... Ah, there. One downside of this is that you need to build this kind of buffer transfer zone. And it grows quite quickly if you have more steam engines or something more efficient than steam engines. I hope you found... found? Hmm. I hope this video was interesting and I'll see you next time. Bye.